Hello, I'm Dr. Krishan Chabra and welcome to An OK Rank. Today's topic is Bhagavad Gita and Children, Part 1 of 2. As we know, Srimad Bhagavad Gita, also known as the Song Divine, goes way back in time when in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, the supreme archer Arjuna, seeing his own relatives and loved ones in the opposing army, laid down his arms and refused to fight. Then Lord Krishna, who was there as Arjuna's charioteer, gave him an eloquent sermon that touched on many aspects of life, such as performing one's duty without expectations about the outcome, immortality of the soul, and controlling the mind. The Bhagavad Gita written in Sanskrit consists of 18 chapters and 700 shlokas, full of gems of wisdom for a noble and blissful life. About two years ago, I made a poetic presentation of Bhagavad Gita in Hindi, accompanied by the tabla player Sunny Masi on the Global Television Network. It is titled, Gita Ka Saar Kya Hai Jeevan Ka Raaz Kya Hai, that is, what is the gist of Gita and what is the secret of life. Then about a year ago, I had the privilege of interviewing Swami Mukandananji on two of my segments on the Global Television Network. That, for me, was truly an enlightening and uplifting experience. Swami Mukandananji completed his degree in engineering from the elite Indian Institute of Technology in Delhi and earned his MBA from an equally distinguished Indian Institute of Management in Calcutta. As the founder of the Jagadguru Kripaluji Yoga, commonly known as J.K. Yog, Swamiji is a world-renowned and highly sought-after spiritual master, yoga teacher, writer, and a motivational speaker. Swamiji has developed a unique program for the children and youth called Bal Mukant, which fosters leadership, character building, and righteousness. One of the recent initiatives of the Bal Mukant is learning of the Bhagavad Gita. Memorization and recitation of the shlokas in Sanskrit. This initiative has a special and unique role for the children, giving them Vedic knowledge, elevating young minds to a higher level of consciousness, expanding power of concentration, boosting confidence, imparting leadership and valuable lessons for a virtuous life, and the list goes on and on. I have a great pleasure in welcoming a group of dedicated children ranging in age from 7 to 14 from the J.K. Yog Balmukan Center of Virginia. They will be reciting shlokas in Sanskrit from the Bhagavad Gita's chapter 12 called Bhakti Yog. Chapter 12 has 20 shlokas. However, due to time constraint, the children will be reciting sections of the chapter in two different ways. So, sit back and enjoy. Welcome on behalf of J.K. Yog Balmukun Center, Virginia. Today we will be reciting Sanskrit Shlokas 1 through 10 from the 12th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. Atadvadasho dhyayaha Arjuna uvacha Evam satatayuktaye Bhaktas vam pariyubhasate Yechap yaksharam avyaktam Desham ke yoga vittamah Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Maya Veshamano Yemam Nitya Yukta Uvasate Shraddhaya Pariyo Petah Deme Yukta Tamamatah Ye Vaksharam Anirdesham Avyaktam Pariyupasate Sarvatra Gama Chintyancha Kudastam Achalandruvam Samniyam Yendriya Gramam Sarvatra Samabuddhayaha Te Kraapnu Vanti Mameva Sarvabhuta Niterataha Kresho Dikatarastesham Avyakta Sakta Chetasam Avyakta Ikatir Dukkham Dehavadhira Vapyate Yetu Sarvani Karmani my son, yes, Yamat Para, Ananye Naiva Yogena, Mamirayam Taupasate, Tesham Aham Samutarta, Mithu Samsara Sagarat, Pavamina Jirat Parta, Maya Deshita Chetasam, 
Now my friend Nikhil and I will be reciting shlokas simultaneously. I will be reciting shlokas 11 to 20, while Nikhil will be reciting shlokas 20 through 11. Wow, what an amazing performance. Flawless pronunciation, coordinated recitation, and an exceptional confidence. And especially the simultaneous recitation of shlokas going forward from the beginning to the end by one student and backwards from the end to the beginning by another student was simply superb. As if they both were completely oblivious of each other and yet reciting in a coordinated rhythmic manner. And now you may be wondering what exactly is Bal Mukand? What is its purpose? What is its scope? And especially, what is this recent initiative about learning and recitation of the shlokas in Sanskrit from the Bhagavad Gita? How does it benefit the children? How do the children learn the shlokas? What is their motivation? What about the teaching process? I think you get the picture. Well, to hear the answer to these questions and much more, please join me next month for part two of two, wherein we will meet and talk to two dedicated and inspiring ladies, Swapnaji and Gayatriji. Wishing you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a very happy and prosperous New Year. And now, enjoy some short video clips and slides about J.K. Yog, Balmukan, and the wonderful initiative about the Bhagavad Gita. Namaskar. Bhagavad Gita tells us what to do, what not to do. Hence, it is also the Yoga Shastra. This Bhagavad Gita is the summary of all the Vedic scriptures. The 700 verses of the Bhagavad Gita, he summarized the whole Vedic knowledge. So that knowledge can make a big difference in our life. Provided you keep it with you. Knowledge is helpful when you keep it with you. If you forget it, 
it becomes useless. Like for example, you know, anger is a very bad thing, I should not become angry. Everybody knows, right? Is there anybody who doesn't know that? But then when the situation arises, we become angry. Does any of you become angry? Everybody does. When we know we should not become angry, then why do we become angry? Because that knowledge slips out. I, anger is a bad thing. It slips out. And then later on we regret, oh my, my. I shouted at this person who is my parents' age, who is 30 years elder to me. What happened? Why did I do like this? What happened was that you should not become angry, that knowledge slipped out. So knowledge is a wonderful thing. In chapter 4, Lord Krishna says, Nahi jnanena sadrisham pavitra miha vidyate. Arjun, there is nothing as pure in this world as divine knowledge. But to use it, we have to keep it with ourselves. And how will we keep it with ourselves? By revising it again and again and again. That is the advantage of memorizing the shlokas. I always advise the devotees that learn up some verses, some shlokas. The knowledge will always remain with you. Otherwise, you hear Swamiji is like, very good, very good, and then after five days, forgot what he said. But when you have memorized, then you can always access what did Lord Krishna say. So this becomes your, your shield in your journey for life. <laughs> Shraddhadana palatya gama Tatta ste tiva me priya Shreya ninda stitya mamiyasad Santushto yena kena chita Anigeta stira mati